Hello, and welcome back to The Chop Shop, the show where we get to know our guests from the inside and out. Today we're joined with Rob and Kylie. Rob is a 21-year-old technical support specialist who works from home as well as a part-time student. He's currently, Rob, Rob, are you taking this seriously? What? Rob, you didn't take DJ Chop seriously when we picked you up, and we had to take something from you. I'm gonna need you to act a little bit more professional. We caught up with Rob around 3 a.m. this morning outside of an IHOP. We're guessing it'll probably take him a few more days before anyone realizes he's gone. Next, we have Kylie. She's a 21-year-old CNA, and her free time she enjoys rock climbing and trail running. Guess what we found her? Now, Kylie's from a very close-knit family, and I bet they were expecting her back hours ago. Tell us, Kylie. I, um, Kylie? DJ Chop, will you please wake up our guest? Yeah! Ah! Oh, God. Where am I? What's going on? Well, I was about to ask you if there was anything about yourself you'd like to share with the audience, but we can just skip to the good part. Do you like trivia? Uh, okay, I, I was running, I was running at Mission Trail. We're gonna go ahead and get to the good part. Followed? I, I will ask our guests I'm a so series funny. of questions from categories I'm of I'm tied up? They must answer what? like their lives depend on it. How do I, how so do I get out? I'm sure you, uh, who I'm are you I'm sorry, Kylie, I'm gonna need you. Let me, Kylie, let me out of this I'm seat. gonna need you to be Please. quiet for this part. Let me get Kylie. out of here. Uh, What's going on? DJ. <sighs> Done. Where was I? Ah, Rob. We need to start off this trivia round. If you can tell us the name of the organ most commonly sought after for transplant, we'll let you keep it. Five seconds on the clock. Rob, Rob, the answer is kidneys. Rob, kidneys. Oh, oh. No, Rob. I'm sorry. The answer was kidneys. DJ, mark one off for him. Kylie, one more little outburst like that, and we're going to have to take your little piggy to the market. Got it? You ready to answer some questions? What kind of questions? Not much of a listener, I see. It's a trivia round. Play's kind of like Jeopardy, except we play for your insides and stuff for legitimate U.S. tender. Fun, huh? Now, Kylie, we already got bids on both your kidneys, so your questions are going to be a little bit more harder. Ready? Here goes. The Isaac Taraz Trail Dog Sled Race which was first held almost 50 years ago, is typically powered by Siberian Huskies and Alaskan Mountain Utes. In 2014, the record for completion was 8 days, 18 hours, 46 minutes, and 39 seconds. And Dallas Sebi broke that record, winning 8 hours, 13 days, 4 minutes, and 9 seconds. Who was the previous record holder, and in what year did he set that record? 5 seconds on the clock. I don't know that, come on! What kind of a question is that? No one knows what this trail is, I mean... I've never heard of this thing before in my life. I'm sorry, Cloud. The answer we were looking for was John Baker. He set his record in 2011 and was actually the first Alaskan native to win the race. Huh, DJ, do what you gotta do. No. No, please, don't mark off my kidney. Come on, please. Please. No. What's wrong with Kylie, you people? Let me go. Quiet. Kylie, I hope you don't think we aren't keeping track. Please, let me I out mean, of here. I, I'm not going to give Kylie, you guys my kidney. I'm not going to just take it willy-nilly. Come on. Ah! Oh. Man, Kylie, I didn't know you were such a freak. Moving on and back to Rob. Rob, there are four main arteries on the human body. What are their names and which one are you currently bleeding from? Ten seconds. My head hurts. Where are all these bright lights on me? You're on the chop shop, Rob. Name off for arteries. Uh, what? Get wasted, Rob. Do you want to use the phone a friend? Oh, come on. Uh. You don't have any friends. <laughs> oh, Rob. Out of time again, you know? Can't survive without both your kidneys. But don't worry. You'll get a chance to save yourself after the trivia round. But first, Kylie. Characterized by its only three common symptoms, 
yucky ear, arm blister, and perfect pitch, which mysterious disease is caused by direct skin contact with clay? Five seconds, go. Did you say yucky ear? Is that a real thing? Did you make that up? I've never heard of this disease in my life. I, I've never heard of these symptoms. Wait, phone a friend, please. Let me call someone. No, wrong, wrong, wrong. Sorry, Kylie. The answer we were looking for was Link's disease. Your time has elapsed. That means you're giving a vote, give me. No. DJ Chop? No. No, please. Please, DJ Chop, don't do it. Come on, no. I just don't know what you're upset about. The driver's license says you're an organ donor. But all is not lost here. It's time for everyone's favorite segment, Save Some Skin, where our guests will each share a deeply moving personal story for the opportunity to win a loner. This week's loner comes to us from Debbie Mills, a 45-year-old diabetic smoker from Keeleen, Texas. Debbie was decapitated in her power chair when it malfunctioned and ran through the open door of a gigantic, lifted Chevy in a Walmart parking lot. All right, I hope you two thought of something. Kylie, since you went last from the trivia round, you need to go again. Got anything yet? Uh, I think I have something. Where do I look? Away from me. Okay. Hi, um, I've got a kid brother and he's like my best friend. We grew up in a small town. Our, our parents were alcoholics. We didn't have very much. One day my dad was <laughs> really losing it, driving my mom home from work and my brother was in the car and he ran full speed into a church. And my brother survived, but he can't walk. And I've been waitressing and working in coffee shops so I can afford to go to med school so I can take better care of him. But he's been in foster care since the accident. But he let me see him whenever I want. I just want to get out of here so I can go see him, please. <laughs> I gotta admit, I think I'm kind of with Rob on this one. But I guess we gotta give it to you just for the principle. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know if our dog can do a whole transfer after huffing that much gas. But at least they're both alive when they caught it this time. All right, DJ, take it to the cutting room. No, no, leave me alone, get away. Please, I wanna live. Please, no, no, no. no. During the break, you call in, get someone to keep them in a jar. Our first two to hit the money get to recommend next week's guest. After the break, we'll see if we can see if Rob can try tennis frisbee golf. 